Hey guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's, and I thought today I'd share with you my little reference book. And unfortunately, it has seen better days. But this little reference book, I keep in my purse all the time. And I keep all of my labels in here. So when I'm out shopping, and if I need to replace something, I have the numbers, the UPCs, but like I said, it's seen better days. I mean, the pages are coming out. So I've decided to make a new one. So I went to the Dollar Tree, and I got some supplies, and I got a new journal. I got some glue sticks. I got some writable tabs and this has 80 sheets so what I did was I went through and I counted 10 and I put a piece of paper in there to divide it so that's giving me the eight divisions and the next thing I want to do is Take that off. I don't need that. I'm going to go through all of my tabs that I had on my old book and I'm going to rewrite them and give them new homes. And for this, I'm going to use a Sharpie. Okay, I went through the book and got the descriptions off of the little tags here that have definitely seen better days. And so the household one is for replacements like um, the size bags I need for the Bissell, um, the rug scrubber. And then I have office, and that's my Dyma label maker. And storage, these are all the, well, office. I've got the binders that I use to divide all of my bills and papers and all the other good stuff I need. And the storage is the boxes that I use on a regular basis and I like them to match that way when I put them together I don't have several different um, heights so the next thing I'm going to do is put the tags in each one of these sections And I'm just going to start with the first line page. And line that up at the top. And the next one will go in at the second piece of paper that I have. And I'm going to continue that until that's done. Okay, I have all the labels on. So I'm just going to go through and take out the papers. Okay, now I get to cut out all of these labels and then we're going to be gluing them back into the new book in the right sections and like I said this has seen better days it's coming right out no problems 
So we'll be back after I cut this out. Okay, I've got that cut out. And I'm going to just put the glue on the back. Oh, nice, this came off. I'm going to put the glue on the back and just place it on the page. And I'm going to continue filling this up and I'll come back and show you when it's done. Okay, the old book is empty and the new one's all filled up. And I have to admit that the glue stick did not hold well, so I had to tape some of this. I have to tape on the sides here because it kept coming up. But there's my numbers for my office binders and the box for my checks and deposit slips. And home deck. This is where I keep all the measurements for projects I'll be doing like the tabletop and what size tablecloth I need, so how many yards I'll need. Um, I'm looking for a new kitchen light. These are the measurements to make comforters for our beds. Ours aren't standard because we have water beds. Yes, we have water beds, and I love mine. These are the storage boxes that we use. And this way, if I ever need to replace it or I need to add to things, I can just go to this book and match up the descriptions and the numbers, and it always matches. I never have to take anything back. But these are for the craft room. These are my project boxes for the small projects. These are the ones that I have stacked for the deeper projects, and this is for the bigger projects. But they all stack real nicely. And dinnerware. I keep a list of all the solid colors that I have, so I'm not tempted to buy more the flatware. These are the colors that I have and these are the ones that if I see I'll get. I don't absolutely have to have them but it would really make some of my tablescapes extra nice. And my salt and pepper shakers. I have them divided by food, animals, nature, my crystals, and Mr. and Mrs. Claus. So I know if I see a new salt and pepper shaker and it's so hard for me to resist them, if I have one that's on the list, I don't have to get it. And in the back I keep the number of the waterbed company. And in the front, I got this from Plaid and it is an alphabetical chart of all of their paint. So I've just highlighted the ones that I have. So in case I find them on sale, I know not to get the ones that are highlighted. And as soon as I get it, I come back in and highlight. But this color reference chart is so nice. And You can see I found that at www.platonline.com. 
but this has really saved me money and it's helped to keep what I buy to a minimum. And I do want to cut a piece of this. And do that right now while I'm thinking about it. This is the color of my bathroom. These are the shower curtains and the curtains. And I'll just keep that in there because I am looking for towels in that shade and I haven't been able to find them yet. I may have to dye my own. And so it doesn't come apart like the other one did because this thing takes so much wear and tear. I'm just going to add some duct tape to the binding. Just to help reinforce it. And this is all ready to go back into my purse. And having one of these, I'm telling you, saves you so much time, so much frustration. So, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my posts. Subscribe. I'm happy creating everyone.